How's it going, everybody? Just real quick. Um, we know that Saturday, which is now today, when you see this, uh, the gematria came up that uh, Michael discovered that was very alarming. Um, you know, talking about Day of the Dead. In the Mexican language, the gematria came up the Day of the Dead. And it is a Mexican festival. And also that Donald Trump is dead or something like that. Uh, see previous video. We really detailed it. Actually, it would be Trump rally Saturday, age of a quit. Yeah. So in the first part of that should get you the answers. Really flabbergasted at the Donald Trump you know, what Amy allowed us to discover with the, when you key in S-I-X, 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 you literally get the same name that you get when you search the name, you get the number 666. So it cross-referenced in both directions that Trump was the Antichrist. So, and he's here in his own name, the horn. Um, but wanted to just quickly go over the comments. Um, I did not understand what Aunt Aurelius or, 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 was saying um, concerning different types of gematria. He did say they are not coming for you. We are in a safe, in a safe place, so to speak. Safe place to speak openly. Uh, I'm just telling you the local people know who I am. And I mean the people that are people. I got a friend request some, from somebody that I didn't even know, but he's a big, big deal in this county. And there was no reason for him to hit me up. None. And he did. So it was kind of like saying, we're watching everything that you do. And they already knew I was being pretty careful. So... I don't, let's just say I sleep easier. Remember my county where I live, you can Google it. You know, their colors are red and blue. And in my county, we have the red devils and the blue devils as football teams. Kathleen red devils. There we are. <laughs> That's right here in, in Polk County where I live. Winter Haven Blue Devils. There they are. The red and the blue. The devils and the devils. So my county is what it is. So, and it's called Polk County. Polk County, Florida. That's where we sit. The I-4 corridor that decided, they said, the Bush um, 2001 hanging Chad election, and they you know, said the next one did too, and, or would too. I mean, you know, because I-4 takes you right through Disney, right to Tampa. That's what they called the I-4 corridor. So, Blah, 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 blah. I watch what I say. And then uh, subscriber, they like to be called. A couple things. There are syringes by Egghead Boy, which is Trump. Also, I noticed, and remember, Trump healed himself with all these different pharmaceuticals and drugs and naturals. So I think that's all it was pertaining to. Um, I don't think it had anything to do um, with any type of vaccine. Also, I just noticed when the AC rises from the frozen or dust from the frozen or dust businessmen, there are several squares and the men inside the squares reminded me of the pattern of the vaccine square. 
I wish I tell you what, Holly Lynn, give me the the minutes in IPEC GOAT. The minute and the second range. Just you know, say somewhere around this the uh 620 range or the and I'll put IPEC GOAT in the comments here. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Yikes. The businessman, when the, aren't they all like all those guys together when the bomb goes off? Yeah, that's what you're talking about. There are, I guess, like businessmen. Let me mute this, please. Suit and tie, yeah. Okay. So now let's go back. And it's the winter, she said. Okay. Or he said. I'm so tired, y'all. It's 1228. I went to the gym. I worked out. Then I went to Whole Foods. Because I just want to go to tomorrow. I get a massage every two weeks. I'm 59 and a half years old. I'm a, I'm a PE coach. I'm very active. And uh, so I do work out. And I still play rigorously at times sports and massages are big. They really help you out. So that's tomorrow. And then I got a mindless football game to watch. So <laughs> unless of course they can't slip, but it doesn't look like they're going to. And uh, I just wanted to get everything done today. So, but right now I'm extremely tired. But I'll, I will sleep, hopefully, for a good 10 to 12 hours. So as the AC rises from the frozen or dust businessmen, there are several squares. And the men inside the squares remind me of the pattern of the vaccine square, kind of making the men look like the spikes in the shot. I hadn't noticed that until now. What do you think? Well... Let's slow it down. Let's just slow it way down. What was going on before this? It was that lady. Okay. All right. And we got Okay. They are in squares. Somebody counted these one time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So they're twelve by twelve. Well, twelve fifteen. Could be December 15th. They look to be 12 by 15, which the Magna Carta was 1215. Let me try again, just to be sure. It's 12 by 15. Is this December 15th? Is this the day after this amazing solar eclipse that the boom, some sort of boom takes place? Is it war? Does World War III begin? Does Trump get assassinated? I mean, Trump could be assassinated tomorrow at the rally. I think we know that. Thank you, Michael. Um, so, okay. 
thank you, subscriber, <laughs> for making us look at that. That's a potential 1215 date. Potentially. Do you see the, the link I sent several videos back telling you what Trump travels with? It is huge, as Donald Trump would say. Uh, no. How did I miss that? What does Trump travel with? I don't know. Help us out with that. Love to love to find out, and I'm sorry for not noticing it. Um, when you switch accounts, you can't see comments. Like when I go to my comments on my Bible studies, it says something went wrong. It's because I'm in my regular account. I'm not in my Bible study account. So some of y'all I did not reply back to. It had been in two or three days, and I apologize. But uh, we fixed that. And um, definitely gave y'all a shout. I love y'all. And we're going to share this to my Facebook. It's what I do. And we're going to go over, Jamie, you wanted to know the link. And we're going to go to the rest of the comments. There's, there's uh, All right. If I don't do it, I'll forget and I'm super tired. I wanted to get it out. I apologize for doing that on a video. Never a waste of time. Thank you. Well, Amy Theist, thank you. Means a lot. And the Antichrist will claim to be the son of God. Then he then he claims to be God himself. Yeah, I'm not. We go back to Daniel 11. We just went over that. And I guess that's the video that they said that I went over that, and that's why they're going over it. Maybe so. Yeah, for he shall magnify himself above all. Yes. Well said. Very good. Uh, he's honoring the God of forces. Yes. And there's a possibility that what he did by taking the mark and he is showing himself that he is, a, is God. Well, the lie in the garden was, don't you know that you will all become gods yourself? So that is part of the coming in times great deception. When you take that mark, you will be like a superhero. That's why superhero, that's what superhero, especially Iron Man, which is the closest along with the movie Avatar, because your body's going to be an avatar the fallen ones the demonic entities um don't you know that you will become gods yourselves genesis And the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. 
because Trump's saying, I didn't die. <laughs> I was dead. Now I'm alive. Just like who? Jesus. Everything's a mimic, like the lockdowns or the chastening and scourging and the way they're beating us down. Cops are beating people, with billy clubs, and they're showing all that. It's people that break. It's it, They're just mimicking the chastening and scourging process. For God does know that in the day that you eat of that fruit, your eyes are going to be open and you're going to be as gods. Knowing good and evil. Okay. And when the woman saw the tree, so I, I kind of miss, misspoke it a little bit or the concept. So we're supposed to be like gods already. But you're going to be moving to your final phase of evolution is how it's going to be sold. When the woman saw the tree was good. Okay. Where art thou? God called on him. Do you really think God wanted to know that like he didn't know where he was? So I mean, God ordained every bit of this. Satan created to be Satan. You better believe it. There was no free will in his fall. So anyway, yes, thank you. He claims to be God himself. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And the people that take the mark are going to be at least a subsidiary of him, just like we are a subsidiary of Jesus. He said, I cannot send the comforter until I ascend to be with my father. When we get the comforter, we are spiritually a subsidiary of God himself. So, yeah. They will all have one mind with the beast. That was talking about the 10 kings, I think. They will all have one mind with the beast. Revelation. They will all have one mind with the beast, Re book of Revelation. Y'all see how slow I'm moving? <laughs> I am wiped out. I have caffeinated three times today. And it's worn off. Ten horns, ten kings, but receive power as kings for one hour with the beast. These have one mind because they've uploaded, they've already uploaded themselves. They've taken the mark themselves. It just means you, you're uploading, you're, you, you're demonized. So you're possessed, you know, however you want to say it possessed for good so but you will have you will there will be powers shown and you're going to have your superpowers i would suspect they'll be able to track down sheep very quickly i mean <laughs> yeah but a lot of sheep are going to be awakened i think at this time Because, and the, the biggest thing that I have a problem with understanding in the Bible is how everything I'm talking to you about fits in with the seven years, but then Jesus says he cuts it short. Because the way I understand it, I mean, Jesus might have to come back. Uh, I don't know, 30 hours. After the abomination of desolation, because if people worship the image of the beast and they're all handed over to it, because and they're going to worship, they're all going to they're all going to be possessed immediately. 
they're going to have these demons are going to be inside human bodies. They're going to be running around like crazy. After they will all be in this to get her. <laughs> they're going to be running around chasing sheep and killing them, lopping off their heads. It seems to me like it'd be a pretty, this isn't going to be like what, what it's, people always have believed it's going to be. Like there's some, like there's some guy that claims to be God and then people are forced to take the mark and you have this decision. Oh, I don't know if I want to take it or not. If I take it, I'm going to die or I'm going to lose my salvation. But if I don't take it, they're going to kill me. No. How do you, how do you miss that verse that says, for God shall send them a strong delusion that they will believe a lie. And I believe that's Second Thessalonians 11. I know it's Second Thessalonians, but I think it's Second Thessalonians 11. And then you, you just couple that with Matthew 24, 24. False prophet, false cry, Christ, a deception so great that if possible, the very elect would be fooled. So everybody's fooled. God sends them all so they all take it. And I think it happened all is an instantaneous situation with the technology, the 5G. That's what it's for. That's how they move about. They're in the machine. They're in the technology. And through the technology, they're going to come. And I think that's what the vaccine is, is connect everybody to the te technology. I could have the vaccine. I could be connected to the technology. But I'm not going to worship the image of the beast because I'm a sheep and I'm going to know what's going on. So it'll be dormant in my body. Theoretically. Because vaccine itself is not the mark. The mark has to be something that comes after God sends everybody a strong delusion. There has to, that has to be taking place simultaneously. The strong delusion simultaneously takes place. When the Antichrist has returned from a deadly wound and is getting amplified by a false prophet. And there's an image that speaks of the beast. It speaks. And you are told if you don't worship the image of the beast that speaks, and you all must make an image to the beast, it says. They are all then asked to make an image. Are they able to do that with their cell phone? Are they able to do that on their cell phone or a computer or something? Because this is going to be after World War III. So who else got cell phones? Who else got so... I'm not really sure how it's all going to roll about come about I think the one fourth of the earth would be a lot more with the dark winter with cold and no electricity to where they can just turn everything back on than it would be with a lot of bombs but it does say they kill with a sword but people are killing each other with a sword if they're all starving war famine death I do believe war is going to break out I mean Jesus said that you're going to hear of wars and rumors of wars but the end is not yet you really got to delve into Matthew 24. The best item I've got, there's no reason for me to redo it. It is amazing. Mark of the Beast, knowing for sure. I cover every single item in the New Testament and Daniel. Now, I know there's other prophecy items throughout the Old Testament. But I really, really, really cover Daniel too. I think maybe Daniel 7, the abomination verses. 
but really, really, really get into Matthew 24, Revelation 13, Revelation 17, and um, 2 Thessalonians 2. Just, we cover it all. Not just a verse or two here. We cover all of it. And it's really 2 Thessalonians 2 through 11. And it's all of Matthew 24. Folks, all that stuff has to be taking place for it to be the mark of the beast. It can't just be a vaccine. Hey, take this vaccine or you're not going to be able to be a PE coach. Okay, I'll take the vaccine. No, I'm not going to take the vaccine unless you cannot function without it. I'll take it. And if, if, the, if, if the technology is going to burn me up, because in certain cities, I'm sure they just turn it up, microwave people, and they can't, won't be able to breathe through the 60 gigahertz, the hashtag I can't breathe. Remember the cop and the guy, hashtag I can't breathe, but 5G tech, but also the, the illness, you can't breathe. You got to be able to be, notice both of them are about I can't breathe, which we think that's what the technology might be able to do to people. Maybe if you don't have the vaccine or if you do, I don't know. Maybe if you take it, that's like uh, when they put the, the blood over the door, they couldn't be killed. Maybe the vaccine connects to the technology in a way that where uh, when they turn it up, you're going to be all right. That's a theory based off nothing because I don't know the science of any of this stuff. Or you take the vaccine, now you're connected, they can, they can just cook you. They can, they, they can wipe cities out. And then they can say, oh, it's going through Tampa right now. Tampa's got COVID bad. It's killing people in the streets. And finally, you know how we're all going, I don't know anybody that's got it. Well, suddenly everybody will have it. And what do they have? And they're getting cooked. And like, you won't be able to, uh, uh, won't be allowed to leave your street because it's over there and it's over there. It's in that, they, can turn, they can turn that stuff up in any street they want let alone any city or any county or any state. Or is it just war? Bombs, bombs, no electricity, bombs, no food, bombs. But wouldn't they harm a lot of the, the technology towers where I believe these uh, entities are going to enter through? So I don't know. There's a lot of stuff I don't know. Obviously, I don't know everything. I'm glad you're here looking for answers. And uh, Amy said, hey, I watch a lot of other stuff too, just to kind of get it all. I'm, I'm going to tell you right now, End of the Stars gives you a lot of good stuff. Um, but most of it is pretty bad out there. Because they don't know, they don't know the truth. Most of them are still celebrating Christmas and all of them still believe in free will. I listen to any of the stars, he's free will. Well, you can choose God or not choose God. Even though Jesus said, I'll lose not one of my sheep that the, that the Lord gave me. Or just like John 6 specifically says in 44 and 65, specifically said, no man can come unto me except my father draw him. Uh, I thought you had free will. No, you're dead in your sins. You have no free will. You are dead in your sins. That's why Jesus rose people from the dead. It was a, all of them are euphemisms, all the healing. Yes, the healing took place, but it was to show in a parallel sense what he will do to the sheep. Jesus said, I only came for the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The blind see. I was blind. I was doing astrology, but then I saw the truth. Who did that? Me? No. Saul was killing Christians until Jesus called him on the road to Damascus. God opened up his ears and then blinded him and then gave him his sight back. If Jesus didn't call Saul, who later became Paul and wrote half the New Testament, do you really think Saul on his own would have woke up one day and said, 
<sighs> Man, I think those Christians are right. I got to quit killing them. <laughs> no. There is no free will. Enter the star. They're all, t they're not as connected as we are here. And we're all connected because we stick together. And y'all show me stuff, teach me stuff, show me this gematria stuff. And yeah, I mean, we're a group. We're the, we're the church. At least about 10 or 15 of us are. Because I hear from y'all. Not one of y'all said, Efri, will you're wrong about that. I did have somebody comment on a video. Watch this. Hell is not eternal torment. <laughs> I saw a comment today. I, I, I answered him back. I answered him back. So it's not in my comments because I answered him immediately. Playlist. He went to my hell is not eternal torment. He goes, I quit listening to you as soon as. How's everybody doing? I want to try to do it. I'm at eight minutes and perish and destroy are the same word as well. There he is right here. Turned you off as soon as you attacked the six hours ago. <laughs> Turned you off as soon as you attacked the scriptures. I said, go your own way. So. <laughs> Some of y'all might not be sheep. But y'all that buy into this and get it. You've been called to the truth. Turned you off as soon as you attack the scriptures. What? You mean attack the King James Bible? That was signed off on by club member. Oath taker club member Sir Francis Bacon had the final write off on the King James, and it was written by half Catholics and half Protestants. And they used the received text to put it together, which was written by the Catholic Erasmus, who we happen to have like a comet floating around up there somewhere named after. So that's what I attack that Jesus is the word and Jesus spoke in parables and he said it is it is meant for you to understand but for them it is not they said what are you speaking parables he said for you it is meant to understand and for them it is not if Jesus is the word then how perfect did God create this word through King James and Erasmus to where it's not really able to be understood unless what Unless you're sheep. Unless the Lord heals you and gives you eyes to see and ears to hear. He raises you from the dead. Which when Jesus raised people from the dead, it was a euphemism for you raising you from when you're dead in your sins. He gives you eyes to see when, when he healed people who he healed the blind. That's opening your eyes as sheep. What, what was I going to look up? I got brain fog really bad. I already forgot what I was talking about. We were going to look something up. We were going to, I was going to go to something. That's why I'm here. Oh, I'm going to listen to this and be mad. I'll be mad. <laughs> Um, I said, Jesus was healing. I was right before that. Let me put it on pause and see if I can let's see if the Lord brings it to me. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Boy, I literally I've sat here for a good 40 seconds. Listening to my stomach growl because after a workout I had a shake, but that was hours ago. It was like it was like six hours ago. I've been drinking some water. I think I'm dehydrated too. It says the natural man, you know, you folks that are dead in your sins, you receive not not the things of the Spirit of God. Your King James version. 
Not King James, the scriptures. That's God's word. No, the scriptures are understood through the spirit. Things of the spirit, not what's on that paper. John 3.16 is butchered. For they are foolishness unto him. And that's what we just witnessed there with that guy's comments. Turn to you off as soon as you attack scriptures. Tom Scott. I'm Tom Scott. <laughs> I should make fun. I'm sorry. I'm tired and I'm still in the flesh. He doesn't understand the things of the spirit of God. It's foolishness unto him. He turned me right off. Neither can he know them because it's spiritually discerned. God doesn't love everybody. There's no free will. He knew his at the foundation of the world. You tell that to people that believe in a King James Bible in John 3, 16. It's the, 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 they're going to turn you right off. Which I'm going to tell you all right now is every single family member you got and every single friend you got and every single person that you know. Because it really is a narrow way and few be to find it. It's narrow. Very, very narrow. I don't have one family member or one close friend that understands any of this. I got one that kind of does because I browbeat them because I want to have a friend that has. And I'm always thinking that maybe after I die, you know, like other people I know will be woke up, but they just won't while I'm alive because I'm not meant to have any friends that understand it i'm telling you now i've got one person that i'm really close to that i think she gets a lot of it really does and i was a we were in each other's life for a very short time and uh let's just say through a marriage very special person to me like a daughter let's just say that and uh believe it or not she you know she gets it but we don't talk a lot about it and she never discusses the scriptures and she doesn't watch my bible study so but i think like when i go i think i'll go before a lot of people go that i think a lot of other people are just going to get woke up or they or her and my friend that i browbeat um at the at the abomination of desolation when god sends them all the strong i think that's when the last gentile the last gentiles are awakened and uh romans eleven twenty five said blindness in part has happened to israel until the fullness of the gentiles be come in that's talking about the bloodline israel and that's i'm telling you romans 11 is about the only part in the whole new testament that specifically talks about the jewish lineage bloodline because the rest israel is the church and the church is israel but there are times when Paul will talk about the remnant, the true bloodline. And in Romans 11, that's one of them. Blindness in part has happened to the true bloodline until the fullness of the non-bloodline church come in. I think it all happens at once. Abomination that causes desolation. Boom. Rest of the church is awakened. They're like, oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. For calling me they, they they just start to see everything stuff that we can see now but they can't see they're like all in the trump or whatever QAnon. boom they're just like oh my goodness oh, it's only going to be again it's not going to be 99.9 percent .9 of the earth so I'm not talking about all the QAnon or all the Trump people or all the people that claim to be Christian. No. It's still, but it's going to be a much larger group than we have now. And once every Gentile is awakened, boom, the Jewish remnant will be awakened. Probably one second, then another second. Or 10 seconds, and then, <laughs> you know, whatever it is. 
All right. That's it. I love you all.